Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Um, this is a different sort of video today. Uh, I made the um, rim yesterday. Oops, I just kicked the tripod. Uh, I made the rim yesterday out of a billet lump of alley. That cost me, I think it was about £20 for the lump. But it was kind of like 19 quid for 25 mil wide and like 20 quid for 50 mil wide. So it's a no-brainer. Uh, I might better make something else out of that. But anyway, the making the rim was not a problem. It's actually getting the holes in the right place. And I sort of pondered about different ways of doing it, trying to make something to wrap around the outside and whatever. And I phoned uh, Warco up see if they had some sort of uh, indexing head, you know, that I could actually fit onto my lathe here um, and actually uh, like a rotary table or something like that, I could put on here an index and put the holes in. But they got back to me and um, he said they haven't got anything to fit on my lathe, which I don't know, I would have thought they would have might have had something if I took the slide off or something like that. But anyway, so I've had to go it alone, um, and I've made up my own kind of fixture for, for a way of doing the holes. Now, it's very simple, really, uh, in one way, but in the other way it's not. Because, you know, I had to make up like a... And see that where are I right. I've had to make up like an alley fixture with this rimmed hole through here and this part here and I had to sort of make shims and things to get the right height so I've got these holes in the middle around the rim now I've just got one screw holding there and one screw holding the plastic one there so you you're, you're probably well ahead of me by now um, you know, this is what takes the time, making all these bits and pieces to fit right. So what I did was, I got the centre on that, across to that. Uh, got a little clamp. This top is actually off my old tool post, believe it or not, before I got the actual uh, the one you can adjust. So... What I did was, I actually, if tool makers clamp, little piece of angle which I machined so I could get this little peg in the centre. Whoops. So this little peg goes in the centre of that. What I used first of all was uh, a cut down, that's a cut down uh, slot drill, 3 mil. They kind of cut better, they don't wander. Um, and I've got a little chuck, as you can see, in the lathe at the moment. And I put this in that little chuck. And I went round it with that first. Uh, and then I went round with a 3.2, because the holes in the plastic one are 3.2. So, what I actually did... This is my tea break. I've been working all morning on this. Um, and it took me a few hours last night to make the fixture, then I had to refine it a bit this morning. So, all I was doing was going in with, with the drill like that, and then I was indexing it, I'd undo it, index it, put it round, pull the pin out, and then pull this little pin back in there. Alright, it's got a little wobble in it, but it's not too bad it was quite tight i actually reamed that hole in there um so it was a good fit but i've been around it like a couple of times and 36 holes i've been out here doing 36 holes but anyway you can see how simple that is you know it's one of them jobs that takes you like maybe five hours to make all the bits and pieces and work out how you're going to do it and a job itself is like a five you know all right, no, 36 holes, probably like um, 15 minutes or so to go around, but it's a bit different to five hours, you know. It's just, uh, you know, I wanted to do it accurately because I didn't want to waste the rim. In actual fact, I did put the first hole in the wrong place. 
how I did it, I don't know, but I did. Um, whether I moved one of my dials off the centre, I don't know what happened, but my first hole, I couldn't believe it, I drilled it in the wrong place. So what I've done is I've made a little alley plug, and I've pinged it over, and then I've re-machined it, then I went round and put the holes in again, in the right place this time, hopefully. So, you know, it's a simple, it's a simple idea, but that's what I was trying to get across to you guys. If you've got a lathe of this size, there is so much you can do on it. You know, you can make your own things, uh, fixtures, milling things. Um, I mean, I, I can even put my Dremel on there, and I machine flats on, like, hard shafts, uh, bits and pieces I make for this bike. For this little, you know, YZ250 Coyote Show, I made all the shafts out of um, chrome vanadium screwdrivers, and I just, you, you can't fire anything, so you put them in here, put my Dremel up, and I just use it like a normal grinder, and you can put nice, neat little flats on. You know, I don't fold flats on, I even mill them on, or I'll, I'll grind them on if they're hard shell. These tool maker clamps are always handy. I mean, I didn't know how I was going to fit that on there. I mean, I have actually glued things on uh, to the chuck or a face plate uh, with sign up super glue, if you want to call that. Um, and you can machine them, you'd be amazed how strong it is. If you've got something that you can't hold or it's awkward or anything, you can put it on a face plate uh, and you can actually, it'll, if it's Ali or something like that, even still I believe I've machined. Because, you know, I mean, I've been working a lathe since I was like 17 years old, so I kind of know most tricks in the book, I would say. And... I've used super glue and I've actually held things on and also like milling. If you've got something hard or thin you, you can't mill, you can just a little bit of super glue and you won't believe it. You've got to clean the surfaces up like first, like a little bit of carburetor cleaner, uh, a little bit of um, brake cleaner, something like that. And then if you glue it, you can machine it and it does work honestly. So I was going to actually glue this on, but I found a clamp which was a lot better. And this pin, it's... it's um, it's a bit of silver steel, um, and it's turned down three mil at the end. So it actually, you just unlock it, and you just turn that round, put it in, and you drill your next hole. So it's as simple as that. Um, it would be nice if I had something, you know, from Warco, the lathe manufacturer, that actually went on here, and I could use, uh, you know, like an indexing head of some sort with different plates on. So. Because remember, I've got to make a front wheel now, um, and that's bigger diameter, um, and I will be doing the same thing, but it means I've got to make a bigger fixture, so I've got to buy more alley or steel. Um, it's, you know, it, it's going to be the holes, I'm probably better to use the angle, and I can do the same kind of thing as this, but it's in bigger diameter, so I've got to buy a bigger alley uh, for the wheel, and, you know... That's going to cost more money, but I think it's going to be well worth it in the end, you know. I've, I've had this off. I'll show you. The sort of, it's not actually finished yet because I want to polish it up. But I spun it up in a lathe, and you can see the holes have just wandered very slightly, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. Oh, better take the plug out. But yeah, so I've got like two little screws in there. And when I went round there, I took them out and I started on that, that hole first. So we'll take this one off and let's just see what she looks like. Okay. So there we have it. The finished article doesn't look too bad does it and now i've got the worst bit of actually respoking the wheel which is something is an absolute nightmare um i've done it once so i can do it again but um but it'd be nice to have an any rim because it's going to be stronger i won't have to worry about the fuel going on it uh you know and it should look nice as well once i get the front one done as well but but there we are that's the finished article um, I'm quite happy with it. I'm trying to see where I messed up the first hole. Uh, well, I can't see it now. 
swirl green machine there. What I did was I counter sunk it a little bit and then I peened it over as hard as I can. And once you machine it alley to alley, you actually lose it. So I was disappointed. I really don't know how I did that first hole in the wrong place, but uh, I'm only human. We all make mistakes, I guess. So next video, hopefully, I will have this wheel on the bike. So uh, I just thought I'd show to you how I actually put the holes in. And if you ever want, you know, any sort of little lathe, if, I know this is a fair size lathe, but if you have even a smaller one, you know, you can do so much on it. You know, what most of my sort of model making, I think I could do on a smaller lathe. All right, maybe not something like this, but you know, I'm not sure you can put reverse jaws in, hold it on the inside. There's so much you can do. So, uh, you know, if you want to do stuff like this, you've just got to buy yourself a little lathe. They're not expensive. Um, and you can make all sort of manner of things. So anyway, guys, uh, I hope you like a little vid, something different, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.